everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Megan. Thanks so much for watching. And today I'm going to give you guys an update on weeks 30 to like 33 and a half weeks pregnant, which is where I'm at today. So I'll kind of just give you guys an update on what's been going on since the last time I made a video. Um, and before I get into everything, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you miss any updates. And also go follow me over on Instagram because like I said before, that if I don't have a chance to sit down and record a video for you guys, I update over on my Instagram. So let's go ahead and get into weeks 30 through like 33 and a half ish. So last time I talked to you guys, I talked a little bit about my 30 week appointment where they were concerned about the contractions that I've been having and then they were also concerned enough to do a cervical check which was great and then they also did a fetal fibronectin swab which I was awaiting the results of and luckily that came back negative and obviously I'm still pregnant so nothing has happened um, as far as going into labor at this point so everything was good on weeks 30 week 31 nothing really happened <laughs> that I can remember nothing new really happened um, now, towards the end of week 31, I did start having some pressure down in my pelvis, and I can only really describe it as, like, cooch bone pain. So, it's not like pubic synthesis, where that is, like, the front part of your pelvis. It is more like obturator foramen kind of thing, which... Um, if you know anatomy at all, it's kind of the bottom part of your pelvis. I don't really know how to describe it. But anyways, it was very, very sore. And um, it, for me, gets more and more sore throughout the week. So like Monday, it might be a little bit sore by the end of the day. Tuesday, it's a little more sore. And it, and it starts earlier in the day. And then by the end of my full work week on Thursday, I'm usually pretty sore. So the waddle has come in quite a bit, the pregnancy waddle or pregnancy swag, whatever you want to look at it as. Um, I have definitely been walking a little more differently um, just based on that. Um, and then weeks 32, I got a cold, which that was not fun. Um, but I had my 32 week appointment. I had a growth scan and a visit with a doctor and basically the growth scan showed that she is weighing about four pounds and she is in the 30th percentile so she is just a little peanut not even average at this point just slightly below average um, but still within normal so they're not necessarily concerned about any kind of growth restriction or anything like that but her previous growth scan at 27 weeks she was 39th percentile so she did go down about like nine percentage points on the curve like she didn't follow her curve exactly but i know there is some level of error in their ultrasound and how it measures and everything like that probably just depending on a lot of different factors like positioning and how much fluid and all of that stuff so um growth scan was good and I got to talk a lot to the doctor about um, everything that was going on, all the contractions that I'm still having. I still have probably anywhere from like seven or eight an hour is pretty normal for me. Um, but he basically said that he believes the contractions are so frequent and so often because of the size and shape of my uterus, number one, so having basically half of a uterus, all of like the, the size of it in general is just so much smaller. So basically that's why, but also because she is breech. And he also said that that is why I was having and am still having the pelvic pain um, kind of down low because basically her little booty is sitting down in my pelvis in a weird way and that would be wider than what her head would be so that is kind of why I'm having more pressure and more pain and also more contractions but the good thing is he is not concerned about me going into preterm labor like he didn't even want to do 
a cer another cervical check because my last one was so good and then he also um, didn't feel like I needed to do another swab so um, I got away with not doing that fun stuff um, and so that was 32 week appointment and since then I am now 33 weeks and some change and um, today actually I have noticed my hands are a little more swollen and I'm not sure if that's because I was eating a whole bunch of sodium from Easter because we had ham and like potato salad and deviled eggs and you know the good stuff so I'm not sure if it's because of that but I did have to finally take off my wedding ring today just because I'm a little scared about it getting stuck and it was getting a little more stuck um, and not sliding on as easy and sliding off as easy as it normally would. Um, the other thing that I've been having today is that my um, my hands kind of itch on the backs of my hands. So not the palms, but like the backs of my hands. So that's kind of weird. Um, but I'm thinking it's just because of the little bit of swelling I have going on is kind of like stretching the skin and making it feel weird and itchy. So anyways, um, that is kind of where I'm at today. I did um, do a newborn um, care class on, I think I was like 31 weeks when we went to that class. So we are all kind of like educated on newborns at this point because uh, prior to that, like I don't really know much about newborns aside from how to help them reach their motor milestones. <laughs> so um, I've never changed a diaper or fed a baby, anything like that. So it was super helpful for um, my husband and I to actually go do a class and be able to ask questions. So we got that out of the way. We also got our car seat base installed. And um, if you go look over on my Instagram this past weekend, I was doing laundry on top of laundry. <laughs> um, so I have pretty much washed all of her clothes up to three months and then I started to pack her bag washed all of her like bedding and um, towels and washcloths and blankets and then um, I also have all of her diapers all situated they're all washed prepped and ready to go so we are on our way to um, being like completely prepared that if we do have to go to the hospital we are all set um and also i did go ahead yesterday and order my um kind of like last minute things that i need to get to go into my personal bag which i will be making a full video on what i'm packing in Celie's bag and then also what will be in my hospital bag and um kind of anything else that i'm bringing to the hospital so um, I kind of jumped around a little bit because pregnancy brain is so real. Um, but anyways, <laughs> at my 32 week appointment also, one thing I do want to say is um, baby girl is not expected to flip. She is breech all day, every day. She kicks me in the cervix all the time and head butts me in the ribs. So I can feel exactly where she is and um, doctors at this point have said that if she does flip head down, I will 100% know that she has flipped down because there is not much room in there for her to move. And the other thing too is that at my next appointment, which will be um, this Friday when I'm turning 34 weeks, I will be just seeing the doctor. I don't have to do a scan or anything like that, but um, we are gonna go ahead and schedule a C-section for 39 weeks which will be May 31st so in the month of May we are going to have a baby and it is finally setting in that we are almost to the finish line so um, I have been told like the doctor is very confident that we will make it to 39 weeks and that's a little bit reassuring that we're gonna make it that far but I'm still I'm still not 100% sold that that will be happening. So um, that's why I'm getting my hospital bag packed. I have her bag packed just so that we are ready to 
go to the hospital if we need to go before um, 39 weeks when things will be scheduled. So, um, and again, if I do end up going into labor on my own, they will do a C-section and um, yeah. So I'm just kind of getting prepared for that. And let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. Also, um, go follow me over on Instagram because, again, I do post a little bit more often there. And um, let me go ahead and show you what the bump is looking like at this point at 33 and a half weeks. All right, guys, so that is it for this video. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell and also go follow me over on Instagram. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.